is me, Chris Candido. No gimmicks needed. Who would often be in the Eagles' nest watching the matches with you? Everybody would come up and down, so it's hard to really say. Um, it, a lot of the guys would, would uh, my brother a lot of times, Louis Piccoli a lot of times. I would say most of my brother, Louis, Nova, they'd all pop out the Eagles, match, the Eagles nest to watch a little bit, but they didn't want to take away from the match. They'd kind of like hold back. And sometimes it was a lot of the guys and they would just line up against the wall, just out of the sight of the fans. And they would all like, not all, cause it wasn't big enough, but there would be like, you know, six, eight guys out there, you know, watching the match from there. And there was also like an ECW locker room. There was, it was just like, um, like uh, sheetrock. So people punch holes in the wall and you could just watch from the locker room through the sheetrock, <laughs> through the little hole. So there'd be people looking through little holes, watching the matches and stuff in the back. So, yeah, there, there'd be a handful on the Eagles' nest. Some of the guys would be messing around, and some of the guys would be watching through one of the many holes and in the sheetrock. Yeah, did um, the ECW arena ever improve their facilities? Did they ever get showers in, for example? No, I, I don't. I don't. I, I'm trying to think. Last time I wrestled there was in like '07, and it still pretty much looked the same. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I don't remember there. I don't even remember there being a uh, like a, a bathroom back there. Like in the locker room, there, there was one in the building. But I remember asking Bill Alfonso, I'm like, where do I take a piss? He's like, just go open that door in that hallway. I'm like, okay. And he just pissed, just open the, I'd open the door to nowhere. I just pissed outside. So that's <laughs> what everybody was doing, I suppose. <laughs> was it not like, you, at least like no one was like circling around a, a bucket to shit in throughout the day or anything? No, no. I, I think if it got that serious, they would just go to the, go around the building into the regular bathroom. But. Mm. You know, so I, I, that was never really a problem. Yeah. Uh, so take us backstage then the ECW arena. So, I mean, if they didn't even have running showers or anything, did they have a bar somewhere in the arena? Did they have any kind of locker rooms or just a bunch of empty large rooms? So it was a it was a bunch of empty large rooms. It was like, well, not empty. One had a wrestling ring in it. One was like a just one big giant like warehouse room where everybody would like set up and change. Then there was like a side room that was maybe like two or three times the size of a bedroom that like some of the top guys would change in or it didn't have to be not even that. Maybe if somebody needed to talk, they would go into that room, but it was just a series of big rooms. And as far as a bar, people pretty much brought their own stuff, you know, <laughs> same man, same man, bring a bottle of vodka, some fruit juice to mix it in a case of beer. People would just bring whatever they wanted and, you know, Tony Luke's, there was this cheesesteak place, Tony Luke's down the street. So, you know, people would send me to go get cheesesteaks and bring them back. And so it was just kind of like, uh, and then like there was like a, a crappy little staircase that went up to the Eagle's Nest. And then like Paul Heyman used to give his speeches. He'd like get everybody riled up. He'd go up before you get to the Eagle's Nest, like the platform up there. And he'd like hold court there and give these speeches to get everybody amped. And uh, yeah, so it was just uh, a series of large rooms. Thank you.